Day two of the GHSA Softball State Elite Eight is in full swing, and so far this tournament has been an emotional roller coaster from the first pitch. All five of our local teams are back on the diamond today, and News 12's Alyssa Lyons joins us live from Columbus with the latest on these games that continue to live up to the hype. Dan, everybody's luck has really turned around today. ECI is up 9-2. to Glasgow County is up 4-3. to Harlem is up 4 nothing. So it seems like everybody's living to see another day. For Washington, Wilkes, and Georgia military, the deeper that you go into this tournament, the tighter these games get. And that was no different earlier this afternoon. Both teams sat scoreless into the top of the six. Allie Huckey in the circle for the Lady Tigers found a way to get her team out of tough situations and find momentum when it counted. In the bottom of the fifth, she handed the Bulldogs one, two, and three to end the inning. At the plate, the Lady Tigers had seven hits. They kept Georgia military to six through eight innings. After each picking up two in the sixth and sitting dry in the seventh, Cameron Rogers came up big to score two and make it final. Washington Wilkes is moving on four to two. It's great. I know my infield has my back, my outfield has my back, my whole team has my back, and when we come in to hit. I know that we're going to get some hits. We're going to rally and I just love my team. Ali Hockey had five strikeouts earlier this afternoon. We have so much more softball coming up for you later on this evening. A lot of these teams have a little bit of community support out here. Grovetown is now watching Harlem's game and before they take the field, we'll have their game at seven o'clock. Alyssa, these games just keep getting crazier and crazier, and it's so great to hear that things are turning around for our teams. Thank you, as always, and we're far from done for, for tonight because, as we talked about, Grovetown, Harlem, Glasscock County, and Emanuel County Institute are all facing elimination, and we'll have the latest on all of these matchups tonight at 11.